Anyway, welcome to the broadcast, people. I am your host, Ryan, a.k.a. Rhino King, and with me is Theo, a.k.a. Tico Love. Oh, no Tico, no long abbreviation of Tico Love? Um, yeah, just this week, I'm just gonna play a mellow word. Okay. Mm. Speaking of love, I want to talk about something about my week. All Mr. Right. Tico Love. All right. I, I think I'll be taking that name now. I think I'll be going Rhino Love. Now, just make it sound like a gay couple now. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, you can have a hyphen okay. link, Rhino Love King. I'm willing to accept that, but yeah. Oh, but, oh, what about Mr. Rhino? What about uh, Mr. M- no, I can't think of it. Yeah, it's, uh, exactly. Mm. It's just, uh, you need to change the love into something else. Maybe like, I don't know, passion. Rhino passion. King. Nah, now it's, now it's, it comes on too <laughs> strong and too girly. <laughs> oh, it sounds like because uh, you know that's what that's what they use it for, like them books, like um them romance oh, right, novels. Yeah, where Those it's just are like, erotic books. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, say. don't don't knock them. I've I'm not knocking them. I just it, it's just like the whole episode of Friends, and we just yeah. went back to it. Yeah, where Joey found um Rachel's book. Yeah, and they just pretty much blasted it. Like you got porno in a book. That's it. No, it is porn in a book. I've read one. <laughs> in fact, I love it because I, I, it's one of my, was, honestly, if I could find, if I could find that same one, because I borrowed, I borrowed, I borrowed it off of my mom. Mm. If I could find that same one, That's I would actually good. buy it. You just implicated your mom there. That's just terrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But go on. But yeah, it was a, it was a great story. It's basically about this very bitchy, um, like very bitchy high maintenance, um, bitch. Yeah, rich, rich woman who was just like, and, rich bitch, and her like uh, her duff friend, rich bitch with ignorance. Yeah, her friend was basically smaller, um, more, basically more meat on on the on the body. So she was jealous too. No, no, no. It wasn't. She wasn't jealous. She literally was like, "I'm perfect." As I'm perfect. Look, look at this. This is perfection. You can you can stand to lose some weight or you know get you know. I see. But the thing is. All right, they were both interested in the same guy, but um, the her friend met surprise, her first. Surprise, yeah. Her friend met her. Fr- Doesn't matter what girls. By met, I mean literally. What I mean co- by met, I mean claim, and by claim, I mean oh. li- literally fucked him in the, oh. in a in in the golf in a golfing area. Yeah. Behind you're not some exaggerating with golfing area, are you? No, it was in, literally. You know, and when I mean golf, I don't mean putt putt golf. Like you know, with the little castles and the yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, little yeah. themes. A proper golf. A proper golf, like, like a forty acre and whatnot. Exactly, stuff, yeah. a, a club, mm. a golf club. Yeah. And literally, they find like a shrubbery, a bunch of area with with like bushes and whatnot, where no one can see. It's like three sixty view, nothing in like all not, but bushes. Mm. And literally, just went went behind one and just like banged it out. Nice. And then he met the rich one at a at a party, and they literally just. Um, they literally went back to her place or his place. I don't know. Can't remember. And uh, so they didn't want to be classy and doing the toilet or something. No, because I imagine there are probably snooty people in there. Yeah. You know. You know. You know these. You know, just like I'll still do it. <laughs> That's just me, boy. I would probably do it in the closet, the coat closet. That's just more disrespectful, isn't it? Like getting semen all over people's coats and whatnot. To be fair, these are the type of people I don't like. So oh, right. Yeah. I naturally. So just... yeah, that's pretty much sticking it to them. Yeah. 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 And literally, I'd probably use one of their coats as just like a... A, a prop. I am i won't go into details. Yeah. But I would use it's it. It's too late for that now. <laughs> no, because it could influence, it could influence mm. something even more. I see. But anyway, yes. And basically, um, it, it's just a, a very funny story how it goes. Because the, the, amount, the amount of sexual stuff that happens is ridiculous. I mean... I really need to read one for myself before I get judgmental. I'm just thinking to myself, if you have the option of porn, why? Why read about it? <laughs> okay, I will say this. The I would say, alright, this is what I would say. Books are probably more, depending on the story, are actually better are actually better paced. Because you know with porn, mm. it's, li- it's literally just like a few minutes of, not even a minute, it's like seconds of like just explanation. Like, like let's take the most classic one. Pizza boy comes in, hot, you know, woman in her panties or whatnot, mm. whatever, just mm. like hot, just wet, you know, wants it, mm. and then you know she's just like, you know, what, I'm just gonna, you know, I don't have no money, and, right. and it's like, you can, you know, he takes his dick out and like you can pay me that way, sort of thing. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Although I would say point, video porn these days have become a lot better in terms of the story. Like it's not dirty, yeah. Yeah, no, they've been focusing on actually trying to put a story in certain points. Right, I see. It just never works for me. 
I think some of them are done well. Actually. Oh, maybe it's me. I just in the past I would just skip straight to the yeah yeah to the nitty gritty to, to the sex yeah, yeah. Um, because you just, I don't like to talk about it too much but yeah constantly when I watch these pawns or yeah. go on these porn sites for the first I don't know fifteen minutes they just sucking the the dudes off yeah I'm there like I don't want to see that yeah you see you see the thing is like I've said I said this before the act of sex is not. That is not the thing that is uh, appeasing to me. Yeah. It's the build up. Yeah. In any concept, even porn, I like the build up. If it's a good build up. So do you like that build up? The whole sucking off and what up? Oh no, that's not build up. That what I mean. That's bu- what they make it look no, like. At least wh- in the porn. When I mean build up, I mean like the storyline. Yes. Why is he here? Oh, okay, mm-hmm. I see. What is the like? What like? Why are they even doing it? It doesn't have I to mean- make sense. <laughs> <laughs> what For I mean, me, it has to make sense. It has to be a bit realistic. I can't be there thinking to myself, what? So the pizza guy just takes off your clothes and stick it in? Okay, no. What I mean... To accept it, as a payment. I'm just there like, how often does that happen? No, what I mean, it do, it doesn't have to make sense. I mean, it basically... it. Uh, Alright, it doesn't have to make sense as long as it's amusing, it's entertaining. Mm. Like, um... Because anything can be, you know... Anything cannot make sense. It's just one of those things. As long as it, as long as the build up is entertaining, like this guy tripped and literally fell on her. So a bit like um, the whole Avatar thing. It, it doesn't need to make sense, but people need to be engaged in it. Exactly. Okay. It's, it's like that. Okay. And I some porns are have been doing that. Some I say some. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like this one, I this one I, I think I, I this one I think I saw, which was just funny. Right. I, I, it was just like. The story behind it is like this mom who was just like this. I don't know what happened. She just I either she lost her place or something like that. So she moved in with her daughter and and her husband, the daughter's husband. Right. And basically, she was just like nonchalantly just like tanning naked in the in the pool, in the back pool area. That makes sense. She was just that she, makes sense right there. Yeah. Literally, she was just like in in the guest room, just like fingering herself and just like masturbating while watching porn, mm-hmm. and then. The, the the daughter was like, "Mom, what are you doing?" And the husband yeah. was like, "Yeah, <laughs> he's not gonna argue, right?" <laughs> yeah, and and then she's and then the mom just like again, no shot, just going, "I'll be with you in a minute, dear. Just uh, let me terrible. finish." <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and then the daughter was just like, "All right, she that bitch gotta leave." Mm. And then and then he was just like, "But that's your mom." And she was like, "She has to leave." Right. And then he was just like, "All right, all right, fine." She, she. and it's like, "You have to tell her to leave." And I'm like. Why me? Why I was like, because yeah. I'm the daughter. I can't tell her. I was like, yes, you can. You're the one that wants her out. Exactly, yeah. And then he, alright, so he agrees to do it anyway, because right. husband, you know. Right. So basically, he, he goes up to her, talks to her, and it's not, like, only a few seconds after he's like, you know, you can't really be staying here, doing that. Like, and then it's like, she's ashamed of me, isn't she? And she starts crying, blubbering. Mm-hmm. And then basically, he's like, no, no, you're, per- you're perfect, you're cool, it's just that, you know, she, you know, it's just a little cramped in here, and she was just like, she mm-hmm. hates me, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. And then at one point, you know, she's just like, no, you're fine. she just starts going on, you probably don't want an old woman here like me, and just like, and then you know where it's going <laughs> when she says that. You don't want an old woman like her, and then he's yeah. like, no, no, you're not old, you're very, you're very fit, and whatnot. Uh, and you know where it goes to. There you go, that trap, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and literally, from there, you know the rest. Yeah. I don't got to t- describe any more of it. Mm. And then the daughter does come in. And and then the husband, all the husband does is, uh, uh, uh. I'm uh. sorry. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> and then the mom's just like. But she, yeah, yeah, like, it's all right, yeah. Yeah, because she ain't sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she, she don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, she, well, not to her anyway. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, it's one of those things. That porn can be a good story, because I, I read hentai. Right. And I don't read it for the sexual sex. I read it because... Stories in hentai are ridiculous. It's like, like one of the one of the most re- funniest funniest ones I saw was this guy, who was into like big beautiful breasted blondes, and he's Japanese, so right. there's no big beautiful breasted blondes in Japan, unless they dye their hair, exactly get implants. Um, but there's this like not natural, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of not natural, there's this girl who's like super genius. She's like very small. Mm. She's like a midget almost. Elf like. Yeah. Yeah. Short hair, uh, brunette hair. But dwarf pop- even, excuse me. Pretty much. I say elf, yeah. Excuse me. Dwarfish, yeah. Yeah. So, so she drinks, she makes, she, she's a super genius, so she concocts a, a potion mm. that turns herself into a beautiful, bust, um, busty blonde. But only for a few, only, un, only for a certain amount of time. Ah, like Naruto. Yeah. Yeah, when he does that transformation. Yeah. yeah. So basically, um, he, they go out, mm. he, ha- you know, they have sex and they, f- and they find out, like, basically, 
the, the effects wear off pretty much quickly during sex because you know uh, it burns it off. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. So literally, after she after she pretty much orgasms, she goes back into her original form. Now, after, over time, he actually kind of accepts her for her who she is. Uh, I see. So there is a sweet point to it. Yeah. It and sounds like almost every relationship, right? It does. Like, you see all the good bits about them or the, the well, exterior part. And then when you get to know them, you're like, no thanks. But it's just like, it's too late. You're already inside yeah. them. <laughs> it's just like, get, get on with it, right? Yeah. Well, okay. That's the thing I like about, that's the thing I like about certain porns is where it's realistic in a sense where it's like, it kind of fits reality yeah. in a sweet way. Mm-hmm. The bits where it's less, or the bits where I, it's, it doesn't have to be realistic is the bits where it has to amuse me. Right. Like, just ridiculousness. It's just like, this is the stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, have you ever heard of this, um, thing, this fashion, this very popular thing called, um, time freeze porn? That sounds weird. Tell me more. Basically, um, it's usually the, the male character right. finds a, cr- a contraction that allows him to freeze time. So the the women in these videos have to s- like literally stay so still. So even when they're coming, you have to freeze. Yes. Huh. So literally, and it's, this is mi- I've mainly seen Japanese do it, but they're doing it other other places. Mm. But in the Japanese one, I just love because these women are just still, and the guys are just entering them, just going going to town and these girls are not even moving it's just no, like no face no nope. literally still I just want to say blank small penis so it must have been no because here's the thing even though you can't see the penis because they in Japanese they pixelate it right yeah it's one of those things is you can tell it's long right it's not short it's not right. small right but it's one of those things it's like how even just entering that has to Right, yeah, yeah I see what you mean. Do a response. Because here's the thing. No matter what size penis, doesn't matter. It can be small. And it still can hurt, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's also the fact that these guys don't even go straight in. They, like, finger the girls as well. Yeah. So you know she's feeling that. Oh, they do that as well? Yeah. Terrible. They do all sorts of things. It's like, they don't yeah, go straight no. in. They're, like, toying with them. Like, like feeling, caressing their boobs and whatnot. On the other hand, you could probably say, yeah, ho. But this is porn, so it's just yeah. like, yeah. Amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's so funny. Yeah. I, the thing funny. is. Funny. I was going to say I'm impressed. I am impressed as well, because it's one of those things I never, it's, it's one of those things is like, um, I don't, un, I could, alright, men in itself, you know if you got to tell a man to st- sit, sit there and stay still while a girl's like just going to town on you, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you shouldn't challenge me, <laughs> but. Oh no, I'm gonna yeah. challenge you now. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Okay. And it's one of those things. Whoops! It already happened. <laughs> what you just like unexpressed? Yes, like eh, please. Yeah, well, I guess that could happen. But anyway, yeah. So, and because uh, Japan does some crazy things, like one of the things I don't, I'm not sure if I've already told you, but I probably have. These two girls, they had sex while playing the Wii. Nice. They have sex with each other. No, no. With a, there's a dude there. Oh, oh, I see. Doggy and them while they're playing. Yeah, and the thing is, they're just like ignoring him. They're just playing the Wii and just ignoring him. Don't tell him. me they're playing tennis as well. Yeah, <laughs> the Wii tennis. They're getting dug in. It's like, nah. The, te- the tennis is more... Uh, what turn on there. How they're doing it is like, they're, the, there's like, they're just ignoring the guy. Yeah. So just going, they're just like naked going about their business. Mm-hmm. Like, like hunched play. over yeah. as they're playing. And the guy's just entering one, them one, by a ta- one at a time. Oh, I see. So, in certain cases, he's fingering the other girl. Yeah. So it's like... And he's just, just like irrelevant. Yeah, <laughs> that's just terrible. Like I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't see. I just after five bit, I say five minutes. After two minutes of this, I just turn off. I, I can't watch anymore. It's just like this is disgraceful. Yeah, really, they're not feeling anything. I'm not saying they don't feel anything. I'm just saying they're very good at hiding it. It's to the point where it's just. Yeah. Here's the thing: these girls are these girls are, will make you will make you feel irrelevant. They'll just like make you feel little. Like, I like that challenge, but it's also scary. Yeah, because so it's, it's like, just like, nah. like you're on top, and next thing you know, she's just like, she's just laughing, she's giggling, she's not she's even th- pretending. That's horrible. Yeah, like you're like, how can you be laughing while I'm doing it? It's just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, uh-uh. it's like you're a comedian. It's like, oh, that's such a funny joke. It's no, like- <laughs> don't do that to me. I, I, I just back out and leave. You know, it's just like, come on, you crushed me. You crushed just me already. Giggling all the way, giggling. Uh. I'm sure it's happened to some guys. 
But I'll tell many. you what, if that ever happens to me, I'm kicking that girl out. Imagine you just pull down your pants and next thing you know, she's just, she just goes like laughing. laughing. Like in scary movies, you see that guy with a small penis here, the first one. Yeah. Unforgivable. Oh, goodness me. Unforgivable, yeah. I think I'll, I'll still continue. I swear, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'll get on on the joke. It's not a joke to me, that's just mortifying. But, okay. I've I've had more mortifying things done to me than a girl laugh at me when I'm naked. Yeah, mm. okay. But, alright, so we actually went over the, our basic topic, which is our weeks. You want to go first with that? Um, what can I say other than, yeah. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> Terrible. Nothing. Love no. luster. Nothing, nothing to note. Oh, um, probably this, but I, I, I'm sure people will be there like, really? This mm. is, you call this interesting? Mm. Um, I put on weight. I'm a new um, waist size now. I'm like, uh, I went from a 34, I think I'm 32 now because I'm I'm trying to put on these pants and jeans. 32 stones? No, waist, waistline. Oh, waistline. Waist. Okay. Because, um, yeah, on the way here, actually, because I'm loaded with 34 waist, waist size, right? Mm-hmm. On the way here, uh, at least getting dressed to make my way here, I was just there trying to put on these pants. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why is it not fitting me? It's just like, everything is just so tiny. Like my, it just literally felt like bull squeezers, right? This is new territory for me. So I remembered I bought one size too big. I made a mistake in judgment on um, that time. But 36, put it on. I'm like, wow, this fits perfectly. I'm wearing it right now. Mm. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. And yeah, that's it. Mm, you're right. That was boring, right? Yeah. yeah, there you go. What about your week then? Well, my week is not any anything exciting. Um I got looked at by a girl. Mm. Oh yes, we talked about this. Yeah. yeah. We yeah, talked about this before the podcast. Yours is way more exciting than mine actually. Well, yeah. the thing is I was alright, so I, I have my weekly appointment schedule appointments at the job center. Right. So I was I was just basically waiting because the guy um had to go. Mm-hmm. And I was waiting to be seen by someone else. Right. So when I'm waiting, um, I look across as this girl. Don't know, very, 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 very good looking girl. Mm. Very attractive. Mm. She had like a, like a, her, a nose, a nose stud. Nose stud, I should say, sorry. P- basically a piercing. It does, right? Yeah. The it thing does is, work, I, right? No, I'm not into that. Okay. Uh, I'm more into the, like, the girls who have like, like the, you know, the ball rings, like in both, in like, in the nostrils. Uh, no, it's because, this is the reason why I like it. That better than nose studs. Because that's, because e- that's even. I can't. Uh, right. I can't take it has uneasiness. To be right? yeah, yeah, I can't take like one one side like not matching. Yeah, if right it's something it. like like birthmarks, I can understand that. But if it's something you put place yourself, it's I can't take that. Yeah, it's like when people like You're one, uneven. Yeah, it's like when people have one earring and one in one side of the ear. I'm like, how can you do that? It's it's not. Uh. Hmm. Put it. Put another earring. Another stud on the other side. Come on. Right. I see what you mean. Hmm. And then when they do put the one the stud in the other ear, they put another stud in this and like on the top part of the ear, and I'm just like, ah, like, ah, it's uneven. Come it's, on, it's still it's uneven. Still, yeah. yeah. So that's why mm, it's a weird thing I know. But anyway, the girl was very, um, very pretty. Um, I think she looked Middle Eastern. Let's go with that. I can't, I can't say for certain. Eastern European, Middle Eastern, around there. Yeah, yeah but anyway. So anyway, I go to see definitely the, not Asian, uh, Oriental. No, okay. I definitely go. I definitely. Well, I don't know. Or I know she could be Filipino. Yeah, yeah, that's a possibility. Um, so I doubt it. Though. Yeah, go. On. Yeah, we don't have many of those here in London. Yeah. So I go. So I sit down at, at the guy I got to see. After I get up, so I'm right next to her. She because she moved from her seat. She got closer. Ah, ho ho ho. Yeah, yeah. And then basically, I noticed that she was looking at me. Yep. And I was like, she's on it. She's on it, but I'm not on it. Yeah. Because it's one of those things, as, as I mentioned before, very attractive girl. I'm not interested. Mm. It's one of those things. I call it Tico Love in- Syndrome. <laughs> where it's just like. God, it sounds like a disease. <laughs> it almost is in a way, right? Where it's kind of like, you see these pretty girls, it's like, eh, please. I could do better. Maybe. No, I. I, I know I could do better. I wasn't even thinking like that. It was more or less. You kind of off. At no. least uh, on the mic, it sounds like no, it. No, in your head, it sounds like it. Okay, then. What I'm saying is, it, she's a very nice girl, but I wasn't interested. Mm. I'm not saying because I can do better. I'm saying because I just wasn't interested. It's mm. like, I wasn't, as you would say, I wasn't getting that feeling right. anywhere. Right. 
It was nice on the eye, nice like nice for the eyes, but not, but nothing. So it was a hot ton of feeling. No. Yeah. As as that um blue sweet song will go, yeah. I didn't get the feeling. Yeah. Actually, it goes the opposite. It goes. I just had a feeling. No. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna sing. So can't, can't stop remember. this feeling. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. Can't stop this feeling. Yeah. So and so, and I'm I'm thinking. I'm starting to think now. I'm starting to have this mentality. Are girls finding me more attractive for some weird reason? Because this is not the first. This is not the first time this has happened within this month. Um, I think it's just a random thing. So I mean, like it happens to a couple of times where I see a, um, a guy. It's just some random guy. I'm just walking past. I'm there. I have a good look at him. Just passing by, yeah. Um, he's not particularly attractive, and I see this attractive girl looking at him. I'm way there, too like, often. and I'm there, like, what the hell is this all about? I like, she I, could do way better. I see but way too often. I'm not gonna get involved. Maybe those are the type of girls that thinking she can change him. It, it's random. It's random. These girls are just maybe they're just feeling horny. I don't know what it is, man. But mm. don't knock yourself. Um, no, I'm not knocking myself. I'm just thinking why all of a sudden that I'm that. That more of these, like, because I'm noticing it more. It's can you because tell? They're being it's more hard. obvious. It's based on your her description, can you? It's difficult to tell, but can you mm. guess how she was at age rate? Well, she was at the job center, so I imagine she's at old. least eighteen or sixteen. No, over twenty, I would imagine. Cause uh, I, yeah, because I think you can't. I think you can't sign on and like a, 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 a. Yeah, you have to be over eighteen. That's for yeah. certain. So safe bet twenty one. Probably. Could no be older. older. No older. No, I would say twenty. She could be older. I would say twenty-five. I mean, I could tell you about this story about this girl that I was talking to, and she turned out to be way older. But I, yeah, go on. No, no, go on. I like that story. Go on. Um. Okay, so I was at uni. She's um mm-hmm. Middle Eastern, right? We was just talking for a bit. Maybe it's because she had like a male friend, and they were just talking like teenagers, pretty much, and they looked like teenagers. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was um the tracksuit bottoms or whatnot. Speaking to her couple of weeks speaking to her and then I don't know one month or two months later it sounds ridiculous <laughs> mm. but I asked her about her age or she asked me about her age I don't know how it started but basically she said oh I'm 27 okay I was so how old were you shocked. sorry how old were you at this time um I'd say early 20s maybe okay. 22 that's not that old no, I literally thought she was nineteen. Yeah, there's some there's some people that because some people still. I was even talking to her like I would a teenager, like you uh-huh. know those words and those phrases. Nah, you see, I would never, I would never do that. <laughs> and I'm there like, if you're twenty seven, you shouldn't even be talking to me like that. I would never do that because I would always talk to a girl as I'm talking to a twenty seven year old. A teenage girl. No, I will always talk to a teenage girl as as I'm talking to to a, to so you're someone of my age, same age. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, she basically just, it helps me root out who are the people I can stand, who are the people I can't stand. Mm. It was just one of those things where, right, she's talking a certain way, and I didn't want her to feel left out, so I just I was just following her lead pretty mm. much in it. But yeah, 19 and she turns out to be 27, that's just some day life. What the hell? That's good for her, that means she has it's good, good genes. For her. Yeah, it's really good for her, and yeah, she had no problem getting a man mm. even 10, 20 years from now. Mm. But oh. I have to say, I think I'm nowhere near. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just there, like now. I'm looking at these Middle Eastern girls. I'm there, like, be careful, man. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. There's one situation I want to talk about because I think I'm. Because speaking of just like no problem getting girls, I think I, I think I seriously do have a problem, as you pointed out. I'm not sure if it was on the podcast yeah. or just in general, but I think I do have a problem because. With- we all, we all know that you have a problem. Just, just, which, we just, we need you to narrow it down. Alright, really. specify which one. Yeah. Alright, um, the friend sister thing. Yeah. I won't say who, which friend sister, but it's kind of, yeah. It's kind of hard not to guess which friend I'm talking about. I mean, like, no names, but. I'm not yeah. gonna say his name. Yeah, tell me about her this, name. um, this feeling that you had or this, um, sensation that was running through your head. Or? Okay. I was walking, I was walking down the street, I'm not gonna name the street. Right. I was walking down the street and I see someone who I recognize is related to my friend. Right. She was doing something and... What she, is she doing? What do you mean by she? I'm not gonna explain what, what she was doing because it, cause it's going, cause I'm trying to be as vague as, as possible. possible. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm trying to be as vague as possible. That's fine. I see her and I'm thinking, she looks good. Right. Even though she looked like crap. Right. What I mean, she didn't, she looked like crap. She basically no makeup, all that stuff. Bare bones. Bare bones. Right. So I'm thinking, Oh, she looks good, and then I'm 
and the thing is, I've never said this about that particular sister as well. And I'm, I'm, and I'm think, and then later on, I think more about it. And I'm thinking, maybe if I helped her out, maybe she would be. No, no, can't think of it like that. Mm. And I started to f- go into like, my mind was starting to work into its imagination. Start to think of scenarios and whatnot. And I'm thinking, I have to stay, no, I have to stay away from that, that, that girl in particular for reasons I will not explain because it, it incriminates how, me. How long are you going to keep doing this? Like, I don't see her that often anyway. And also, he, he doesn't, he, right now, I'm at, I'm in a situation where I won't see her. It's good. At all. It's good, so there's some distance. Yes. If there wasn't, then you already know that something might happen. No, nothing will happen. I'm just, uh, nah, nothing knocking. will happen. Don't knock it. No, because you it, never know. Too many situations, but you I'm gonna stay know. away from that. Yeah, yeah, I heard about those situations, but yeah. still, you never know. Another thing I do want to talk about is a game that I started playing recently, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with this game. Uh, it's Witcher: The Wild Hunt. Are you familiar with that game? Uh, I remember you talking about Witcher Three. Yeah, that's it. Witcher, officially, what it's called, Witcher: The oh, Wild right, Hunt. I see, yeah. But it's, yeah, really, people just call it Witcher Three. Yeah. Um, because I it was on a, it was on offer. It was forty four ninety nine. There you go. And it was like the online price for digital download for the PS for the PSN was forty nine ninety nine. That's the original price. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, sure, get it for cheaper. And with the new DLCs coming out, it's like perfect timing. Yep. And I got some I got some time to I got some time to kill between uh, between now till when um, Black Ops Three. Not just Black Ops Three now. Apparently, Bloodborne DLC is coming out around that time. I'm sh- pretty sure there's another game coming around that time that I'm interested in. I can't remember. So many things, right? It's like either DLCs or just things for, f- or just like new like new releases coming out. It's gonna keep you busy for the holidays, yeah. 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 So, I'm really looking forward to the Black Ops Three, but yeah, Witcher Witcher Three. I started playing that. Man, that is such a good game. I'm not even I'm not even that far into the game, yeah. but it's one of those things I've just been doing like side quests. It is so big. The side quests are that big. The side quests are interesting. No, what I mean big, I mean the map itself. Oh, I see. It's like. Yeah, that's long too. It's mm. like it's like a, it feels like I'm I'm literally going across a country. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Start feeling that whole that whole Assassin Creed thing. It's just like no, this is much bigger than Assassin Creed because it's yeah, like it's, it's like a because all right, how it is is like now this is back in a time like let's say um the Dark Ages, medieval, medieval. Yeah, medieval, so basically yeah. um large um countryside with a few like m- little town villages. Mm. Oh, okay. I, I'm not sure if I've gone... If, so if, you need horses. Yes. We, you get a horse yeah. from the start of the game. And pretty much you can call them whenever. From where, where, wherever. I see. But just even by horse, it's like quite a while to get from yeah. one place to another. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's, just like, it's such a massive place. And when you look on the map, you look at it. And you're thinking, wow, this is a big place to, just, to look at it. But mm-hmm. then it, when, when, when I first went to the map, it was like, wow, this is a big, a massive map. Mm-hmm. Then it, I had to back out. It said, wait, I can back out? So I backed out. I looked at it was three different sections. So it was like, not only was this like its own like con- confined area, mm-hmm. there were three, there were like three or four more different areas that were probably even bigger than that. And you've been in them? No, I just went into this new one that recently. Oh, okay, I and see. it's like it's bigger. It's like, I, I don't know. I just dabble between just to see um, which one is bigger than it. So well, the thing is, I can't access some of them yet. Okay, story reason see, why. I see, yeah. And it's like, and it's like, wow, this is so big. And so, it's not a letdown for content, is it? <laughs> no, God, no. And also, it's not easy as well. Mm. I put it on normal. I put it on normal difficulty. And if, what they did is that's weak, man. No, you have to put it straight. No, hard. I don't. Mm. Especially with these some of these RPG games, because some of these RPG You're games. You're familiar stri- with RPG. That's the thing. Yeah, but some and I'm familiar to, to know that some of them straight up cheat. Like Mass Effect, the Mass Effect series is okay. Yeah, they don't cheat as much. Some of these other ones, they cheat. They straight right. up cheat. They literally say, "All right." You're at level ten. You have to do this. You have to defeat this level fifteen character. No way. Get out of here. Dra- I'm pretty sure. Dra- no, it's just that. like no, 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 no. I can't. I can't be bothered to do that. But I don't know. I'm the type of person. I still want to challenge. I st- I still put on hard. Now with Witcher, they put so much. They put so much like because in its certain in its combat ability. Sorry, in the way the combat is played, mm. it's so like expansive because like. You're fighting different monsters. Mm-hmm. The Witcher himself, he has two different swords. One for like supernatural beast, mm. which is a silver sword, and the other one is for like regular humans and beast, mm. which is just a basic sword. And the problem is you have to switch between the two, because like one is ineffective against the other. 
Oh, right, yeah. And then, when you come across a different beast, some of these beasts are still, like, even if they're, like, at uh, the, same, the same level, there's, like, some case, certain cases you need to, like, have concoctions, like, special oils that work against them. Or special, like, they each have their own weakness. It's like uh, Pokemon. I'm, I'm sorry, man. It's like Pokemon. I, I didn't even know. It's just, yeah. yeah, this is just too much. It's too complex, yeah. And it's one of those things is, the Witcher himself, like, if there's a certain, he has contracts for, like, beasts. And like before he goes into <laughs> before you go you actually go into contract with, with a beast, you you have an option to either go straight in it, which you will most likely die. Tell me more about the contracts with the beast. All right, so basically, um, each town will have like a contract because the witcher with a beast with a beast like a monster. Because can this beast talk? No, no, they're just wild out. They're just like wild. Creatures. Oh, I thought, I thought it was just like, okay, you sign a contract. You're my oh, beast. no, no. You do as I say. No, the contract was with the people who wants to get rid oh, of it. okay, I see, yeah. So, you're there, right? And, like, you can, before you even go to fight him, mm. you have the option to, like, prepare. So, you, you go to, like, a book a bookstore. Yep. And you buy a book on the beast. Mm. And you learn his weaknesses. Right. Which helps you because it gives you, like, what you can prepare, like, con- either bombs, concoctions, or whatever the weaknesses. Yep. Like, some creatures are weak to fire, so you get your fire spell ready, you have a fire bomb, you know, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You have a, you, you can have a special oil that just works against them. Mm-hmm. Great. It helps you significantly, because then, th- this, because if you, because this happened to me, in like, and this was during the main quest. Right. I came across the, these gargoyles, and I was like, I was doing literally little damage, and my sword was breaking. Mm. I was like, how do I kill this gargoyle? Don't tell me you backed out. No, no, I didn't back out. Okay. I, I, I had to use a potion that uh, increased, that buffed the damage. But then when I, when I went after the whole mission was done, and I'm like, okay, where is this, where, how do I, what did I need to do to prepare, yeah, better prepare potion. for, what do I need to do to better prepare for the gargoyles? So I look in the bo- the textbooks, and it's, and it's under Elementa, which are element, uh, elemental creatures. Mm. And I'm, fi- and it's these gargoyles. Like, Alright, all right, here we go. Yeah, go. And I'm looking at the different types of gargoyles. What? Each, yeah, I fought different types, and I'm like, wait, okay, I know I fought these guys, so they're different types, and they have different weaknesses. Mm. So I'm looking at them, and I'm looking, alright, so what can I do to beat them? And I was like, make a, and I was like, oh, hell fuck, I don't even have that, I don't even have that, um, formula for that, for that, um, that concoction. So he was fighting a losing battle. In a way. Pretty much. Yeah. And it's one of those things, it's like, Alright, I'm not doing that again. I have to, <laughs> before I even go to... Be prepared. I have to literally go to every shop. Yep. And literally just... Get every potion. Get every that. potion, yeah. every oil, any anything. Get the books, read them, mm. see how to beat them. Mm. And it's one of those things you got to properly prepare. You know what? That sounds like a challenge. That it's is a, a challenge. A real proper challenge. And I, I'm interested now. Like, if I get a d- decent price on my Xbox, then yeah, I'll get it. Yeah. It's a it's a great game, yeah. And the story itself is very expansive. What they do is also they because in the previous Witcher, I played Witcher two. Mm. Didn't I haven't played Witcher Witcher one. In Witcher two, they have like little options where you can gamble, where you can play like uh like dice poker. Right. Like they to made this your money. Yeah. yeah, they made this dice poker game mm. where literally it's just dice like poker. <laughs> yeah, it's literally dice <laughs> poker. Because all it is is um is you're playing poker with dice. And you ha- and when you roll them, you have you roll them in a like, container. Right. You have the option to take the some of the dice and re-roll them again. Mm. For so them. if you hit six, what happens? No, how it wor- how it works is basically um, like uh, I think you need to, uh, it's like pairs. Okay. So if you had like a uh, basically a the an order of numbers, mm. like I can't remember how it went. Straight. Yeah, straight basically. Yeah. A straight like one, one, two, three, five. Yeah. No, one, two, one, two three, four. three, four. So five. Yeah. Yeah. You basically you win the game mm-hmm. automatically because it's like that's that's the best hand. You can't you can't work with that. Yeah. If the other person had a higher hand, it was like four, five, six, seven, then they win. Yeah. Because it's a higher straight. Right. And then you know matching pairs, you know better yeah. than the other, all that stuff. Yep. Yeah. Four of a kind, three of a kind. Yeah. Now, in which of the wild hunt they deal they deal away with that so far, yeah. and they they. They actually created their own trading card game within the game. You're kidding me. I'm not. It is one of the, my, I think, one of the best features because I love it. Because you know me, I'm a trading card nerd. Yeah. It's one of those things, it's like, they put in this, alright, it's called Junt. Junt. Something like that. Okay. Alright, now basically, how the game plays is, you have your own deck of cards. And you fight another person with their deck of cards. Yep. And it's trading cards. So you, yeah. so basically, you can 
like, go across stores and buy your buy like more cards. Mm. And I'm laughing because because it's so it's because it's so funny because it's literally it must what have been a situation. He's just like I got all the cards. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> you like can't beat me yet. It's like literally what I got to do in real life now. Okay. So it's like, all right. So basically, you fight and you play for money mm. against these dudes. Now, how the game works is it all um all you have to do is make sure your forces are bigger than his ones. I see. Yep. In numbers, in number vowels. Yep. Now you play like two. You play two rounds, and literally you d- you draw a hand, mm. and literally that's it. You don't draw new cards. You just have that hand. That's it. For for the entire game, like b- between between turns, between sorry between rounds, you can draw one new card. And unless you have a card that specifies you draw another card, mm. you can't draw a n- another card. Uh, that's just really irritating. No, it's actually brilliant. Because what it is... So it's kind of like I'm stuck with one card. No, no, no. You have, like... You start with seven or eight cards, if I'm correct. Yeah. So it's like, you start with those cards, and you have... To, no, I think it's nine cards, actually. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you have to make sure you... You have to rethink really about what cards to use. Because mm-hmm. those are the cards you're set with. Unless you have some cards that allow you to get more cards, you can't start with those cards. You, you can't um, get new cards. Mm. So it's one of those things is, all right, well, if you... So it's like, people would... Uh, it's like, in one case... I fought a, a computer. He he actually lost. He um chose to lose the first round by just putting down one card. He chose to lose one. Yeah, the first round, mm-hmm. and he he did that because the uh, smart what he did because he did that because he had stronger cards for the next two rounds. Uh, I see. Yeah. So like for the second round, he took it because I was using more of my cards. Okay, so you in were the first round. Out. Yeah. yeah. And I, when I ran out, I was like, I can't. I had nothing to come back the third yeah, round. Yeah. So it was like he won. You learned from the machine. Yeah. <laughs> it was like fuck. <laughs> it's good. You got your ass kicked that way. No, you I, face I, somebody. I restarted. Like, no. I, re- I went back to safe. <laughs> I no, lost. Don't worry. Don't worry. I done that with FM many times. So it's just like I lost, but it was mostly because of a red card or an injury. Yeah. Dying to monsters, I can understand. Yeah. Losing money, no, I need the money. Yeah. I because I need to buy as m- much as I can with. Now it. we're going back into the whole mass vet thing. Yeah. We kept saying, yeah, I'm just doing it for the money. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, no, I'm doing it for the backpacks. No, oh, I don't packs, yeah. Yeah, I need the money, man, because yeah. e- equipment costs so much money, yeah. and I have to keep repairing it. It's true, yeah. It's one of those things. Mm. And money is scarce. Scarce. Sorry, scarce. That's probably American term, isn't it? Scarce. I don't know. Scarce. Um, it's just probably me butchering English la- language. Yeah. And it's one of those things, it's such a... It, it's the, and I... Honestly, I've spent more time playing the card game than actually playing the main game. It's fine. Sometimes you just get into that rabbit hole, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's at the point now. I was like, okay, I can't play no more. I can't play no more card <laughs> games. I have to go and kill this monster. It's too late. You're in it. But yeah, it's cool. And another thing, uh, going back to porn, is something wow. The Witcher all that does great in the the game itself. They always have like these very, very particular moments where the the Witcher um, Geralt. That's the name of the main character. Right. He basically bones any woman he 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 can get a chance to bone. For what? Depends. Again, it depends on the story. Okay, okay. For story reason purposes. I'm boning her to get a potion or something. Or I do some like all right. For instance, I recently came across a, a sex scene with girl and this witch. Right. Not witch. Sorry, a sorceress. And it's one of those. It's funny. Can I find a human girl. Huh? Are they actually any humans? No, they're, they're all witches. And no, whatnot? the sorcerers are humans. They just have magic. No, like no magic whatsoever. Oh no, no, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, Pro- probably, plain. probably later. But the thing is, girl is is known for liking his sorcerers. Yeah. I see, yeah. Not which is sorceress. Sorceress, yeah. He loves like the like the main love interest. The main two love interests are both sorceresses. I see. And it's one of those. So you can't get enough. That's it. He loves that. He likes that magic booty, man. Yeah, I understand. But uh, sorry, I'm actually thinking about glowing uh, spark. No, I'm thinking about sparkling booty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about like sparkling boobs, but okay. Oh we... no, I've seen those as well in in, in the Witcher. In Witcher 2, there was like uh, this amazing scene with this. this is sor- it just me, or is it just, that just sounds innocently dirty or something like that? Like, what the hell? I don't care, it's amazing. Okay. Basically, the sorceress, she was just like, there was a pool, mm. and it was like, I'm going to, I'm just going, to, I'm, she just like magically like just strips herself. Wow. Like, all the clothes just magically disappear. Wow. Like out of nothing, like just turn into sparkling ash. Tell me this is 18 plus, right? Oh, of course. Okay. You say of course, but you never know. Uh, I, 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 I don't have a box, so I can't tell you. Right. It's digital. <laughs> like both The Witcher 2 and, and The Witcher 3 are both digital. I've done, I don't remember. Even in the digital, they have a, like, a PG rating. Probably on the info, but I'll have yeah. to turn on 
You just completely disregarded that. Like, I just want to play Witcher 3 if you get that. Yeah. Issue. No, literally. I hear you. The I sex hear. is literally minimum because mm-hmm. the, the sex is great because mm-hmm. it's one of those things you don't see. You, it's not like explicit. You mm-hmm. don't see like him just like the dick, go, the, the dick going in. Yeah. But it's one of those things is you can you tell. You know the motion. He's going through the motion. You yeah. You know what's going on. Yeah. And also they, they actually do very well to model the body in its nude form. Are you talking about a girl? I'm talking about, yes, a girl. Okay. Because fuck the guy. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say. Actually, let me rephrase that. Forget yeah, the guy. Forget the guy. Forget the guy. Much better. Yeah. And it's one of those things. Is I'm not, I'm just looking at I'm just looking at it. I'm just like, this this is nice because this feels <laughs> this looks actually like a body. Because no, because you know you know what these. Video I remember games. you was talking about how well they drew Catwoman in Arca, Arca, uh just Batman. The oh Batman. yeah. Arkham, so I'm just there Arkham like. Knight. Stop. This is this is getting ridiculous. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I I I need to help you get a woman. So, no, come on. As someone who's done 3D graphics, I mean, you can be impressed by the design, but it's just it's almost like you want to do her. No, I'm no. All right, it's all right. It's hard to. It's, I appreciate the design, but don't take it to the it's next hard to level. Say no, you just said nice, and the, <laughs> your hand just okay, as well. I'm just there, like stop. It's hard to explain without me over sexualizing. Okay, it. yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah, I understand. It's fine. But the animation is the animation and the the, the way they design it mm. is so good. Mm. It's like the way it's like the like the amount of polygons they must have used mm. to use the, the scientific term. Right. The amount of polygons they use just for just for like the, the lower half mm. is amazing. Like, cause no, cause it, all right. Now this is something. <laughs> cause again, me saying this, you don't get the design. No, no, part. it's just the words that you're using. Amazing. Really good. Oh, you're, <laughs> just, just, like, you're reading too much into the, to the no, words. Yeah, that's just gonna be a me thing. But go on. Yeah. Cause, no, no. Because here's the thing: doing free art, doing circular, doing a circular, um, a circular shape is very hard. Because mm. in you fr- see, you did it again. <laughs> but go on, go on, go on. Doing a circular, doing a cir- doing a circular shape is very hard to do because it's just one of those things. Um, the computer only reads it in like numbers, so it's only going to be square or rectangular. Right. So to do it, to make the circular motion seem so circular, and also to have it animate so well, because mm-hmm. animate when you do it, because to animate a bo- like an arm moving is very basic. You have a basic skeleton. Right. To have like this, the skin animate itself and react, right. to, like mo- to motion or to like wetness is very co- is very good. Right. It's like it's like they have to like have it like different. You have to like measure each particular spot and make sure it reacts differently to um depending on what is hitting it, touching it. And the fact that they do it like this is the reason why I liked um Batman Arkham Knight so well mm-hmm. in terms of Catwoman. Yeah. Cause she looked like a human. That's why I like I think her appearance was so well done. Cause she look cause out of all the out of all the previous Batman games yep. or any game in particular, when you look back on the female even Poison Laura, Ivy. even Laura Croft. Like when you look towards the Laura, how Laura Croft looked back in the day, she didn't ha- look too much like a woman. Exactly. You know. And when you look to her now, when she looks like a impressive, like a proper person, it's impressive. It's one of those things. It, it shows how far we've come with the 3D graphics and, and technology. The reason I like Catwoman in particular is because the way they, the way they had the filters on, mm. it looked almost movie like. So it looked, look, it looked great because the the way that the light. Was on was reflecting on her yeah. face and yeah. showing it. Yeah. It was like, wow, you look almost like an actual person, like an actress. Yeah, you literally look like someone I could believe could be playing CGI Catwoman. Right there, yeah, it's, exactly. You look like this looks like something like they actually got a female and actually had her play Catwoman, and just you know do out those do out those parts. Mm. So it's one of those things. Is we're getting close. This is the reason why I like. And also, I'm gonna appreciate the female body. Let's just face it. Yeah, yeah, we all are. I'm yeah. gonna appreciate the f- no. I'm gonna appreciate the female body more than the male body because that's just I don't even what think I like. Consider the male body. That's it. Exactly because yeah. that's what we like. Yeah, you got the female body. Yeah, and the f- and we're gonna notice more things about it. And the fact that I, because dude, I had trouble doing just doing a human, a, like, like doing a face in fr- when I was doing 3D art in a it's uni. It's difficult. Yeah, it's it's, difficult. you have no idea. Yeah. It's one of those things you, it takes time. No, I can time. imagine because, yeah, you're going to be there sitting there like, guys, let's go to the pub. No, I have to finish this 3D drawing, man. It's not even just that. It's just when you sit there and doing it, there's going to, the problem is, it's getting it to look actually like a human. That's something really frustrating, yeah. Yeah. It's like getting the nose to a proper shape to at least when it looks humanish or anything. That's Difficult. why people, that's why people, when, in terms when they do like, um, projects and 
all this stuff they tend to do like non-human although now we're getting we're, we're at the point now where the software is getting to a point where it's making it so much easier for us to do that's nice where we just take like it's like clay where we just take out like a, a clay ball and just make a face with it mm. but yeah um sorry went way off topic but witcher 3 you know it has impressive it has impressive like nudity and towards details towards the nudity of the body mm. that's the reason why witcher 3 is just a great game yeah um I'm going to enjoy playing that. I'm hoping to get it done before November when Black Ops. Good luck with that. Yes, <laughs> because that's early November. That's I know, and yeah. the thing is, this game looks ridiculously long. And I booked a holiday, so there's no way anyone's going to tell me you have to come into work. You suck out. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Way. yeah. I, I'm trying to think. If, are, are we? Will we even be doing a podcast that week? Um, I, I'm gonna I'll see you right there. I'm not. <laughs> no, no, because I'm I, not. I probably, no, because here's the thing. If you don't hear from me, you know why. Mm. Mm. In fact, I plan to the, the stream that on, on, uh, stream exactly. that Exactly. That's can. what you should be doing. Doing really. recordings and all yeah. that stuff. And I'm going to be working hard to get my black hat because that's, that's my main priority. <laughs> I want my black hat. You'd be lucky if it's a default way. No, it's not. There's a default one with a black hat. I know that for oh, certain right, see, from yeah. playing the beta. Mm. But the thing is, I want to have my own class. That's it. I need because here's me. I don't need grenades. Just give me the black hat. Just give me the black hat. Give me the the black hat. <laughs> Sound like a, a robber. Just say, just give me the loot. Just give me. <laughs> oh, Nothing else. Forget the jewelry. Just give me the money. The black hat is amazing. Oh, right, Trust right. me, you have no idea. Yeah, I look forward to that. Don't worry about yeah. it. Mm. Uh, but in terms, uh, you're gonna move on to our next topic. Uh, yeah, keep talking about our week. No, the, the next topic I want to mention is um. Let's let's just go straight to towards flash news and stuff like that. Mm. You know, it's two weeks away. Looking forward to it. I actually haven't. Re- I've been watching Vixen as I told you. Yep, that's been interesting. Good. Very short, but interesting. So you're on episode uh, four, I believe. All I right. think five might have already might have aired by now. I thought it was on like ten, but yeah, we're doing it in weeks, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah no, fine. but it's only it's very sh- it's very short. Like I said, even the, yeah, you said the it, amount um, of episodes maybe ten minutes or so. Yeah. Yeah, roughly. Um, no intervals. Hmm. No intervals. What do you mean? Um, Half times. Not I can think of. No. Okay. Um, the CW DC verse is very cool. Are you sure it's my CWC? The reason. Oh no, that the CW seed is what is their online thing. What I'm talking about is the CW DC verse. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Because you know, like, because uh, you know, the animation, like the Justice League animations and stuff like that, the Batman animations, yeah. they refer to that as the DCU. That's Sorry, it. the DCUA, the DC Universe that animated. That just sound like the whole ACDC, and it's just all confusing. No, it's, bas- commands, it's basically an acronym for trying to, to explain that this is the DC animation that we know. Okay. Basically, this is the good stuff that we loved yep. growing up. Yep. Then they have the the DC OA, which is the DC Original Animation. Mm. Which is basically just their film set series, and then we have this one, which they're calling, which officially, CW. officially they call it the Flowerverse, because of Arrow, Flash, yep. the Flowerverse. Yep. I'm calling it the C. I'm, I'll just call it the CW, CWDC verse. Not including Smallville in that, though. We shouldn't. No, they, no, they don't. They don't. So yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna carry on without that. Yeah. So the Flash is coming back. It's, it seems interesting. Seems the big bad is this Zoom character. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't um, aired on TV or no. even adverts, so I have I've to seen take adverts. your word for it. I've seen trailers. On Bits TV. And bobs. No. On TV. Oh, on TV? Yeah. Uh, good luck with that. Yeah. Um. So, so far what I've seen, the reason I'm saying Flash first, because I'm going to say I'm a big Flash fan. I'm a Flash mark. I think they already know. You True. love the Flash. Yeah. I love the Flash. Okay. Who doesn't love the Flash? The Flash is an amazing character. He has an amazing power. So he has an amazing villain. They, probably when um, the new Flash comes in, the Wally West, we'll see what they do with him. No, he probably won't come until like probably later, like to the end, maybe. Yeah. yeah, like the later season, like the later part of season two, if they don't cancel it. You oh, know, they you know they, these people. I know these people, yeah, but right. no, they, they've done they've done too well with us now to the point where you can't cancel this. The only he, way they can cancel well, this. Well, Heroes was really popular, and then they canceled. Okay, it. no, let me let me ref- all right. Let me say something about Heroes. Heroes was popular with the first season. Yeah. They fucked up with the rest of the seasons. Right. 
And let's and, and hey, hey, so far it's coming back. Hold here. on, yes, it is coming back, but it's like online base. And I've just heard that unfortunately, Zachary Quinto is not going to be Sayonara. They, they did mention that they're going to bring the character in, but not the actor, which is uh, it's just like um, no, the problem is, um, Zachary Quinto now is earning the big money doing movies. I know that, so it's like but it's still like, come on, he's the one, and also he probably wants to separate himself. We don't know what he definitely. I'm not saying, oh, Zachary Quinto is not a star. I'm just saying, if anything, the opposite. I'm just saying, I want him in there. He, he's, he is silent. No, I understand that. So I, no, I understand. Like, yeah. I understand Maybe that. Maybe it's me. I just don't like the changes, but yeah, it's just like, mm. No, it's you, but no, no, it's not just you. Cause some, pe- I, trust me, if I, if we could have it, I would want Zachary Quinto as silent. Yeah. I, cause and then Peter Petrelli, the actor, the place. Milo well. Valentino, I believe. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not going to be. Peter Petrelli anymore. Okay, I can do without Peter Petrelli because honestly, Peter no, they're gonna keep the character, just not the actor. No, I, oh, I was actually gonna say, take get rid of the character in itself. Because yeah. here's the thing about Peter, I like Peter, the concept of him. I thought he was done terribly. Yeah, he's just like an idiot. Really and truly, with that power, yeah. With that power, he should have been a, he should have been amazing. Yeah, he should have been like Superman. Better than Silo, maybe, or if not, he no, will. better than Silo because he doesn't need to like cut open their brains all that stuff yeah but if you remember if I remember go on yeah Zachary Quinto's actor oh sorry Sila himself he yeah. didn't need to he learned to harness it by himself true so in, in a way he is like Peter the powers in like true but also the power made him crazy yeah it's, uh, but it's not if, if you think about it it's not really crazy he just his powers made him What's the word? First for hunger? Yeah. Hungry, just addicted to it. Yeah. It's not really crazy. It's just a first. It's, it's true, like hormones, true. isn't it? Like, you can't control it. Alright, I'll give you that. But, I was actually, honestly, out of a lot of the, out of the characters that have, can either take, absorb copy powers, you know who's my favorite? Yeah, Arthur. Yeah. Yeah. The dick. <laughs> honestly, he is, as much as he's a dick, he's a necessary dick. dick. No, the mother was a necessary dick. They were uh, both. As much as I hate They him. were both a necessary uh, dick and dickhead. But at the same time, it's kind of like, as much as we all love the, the, his powers and what he can do with it, yeah. he was only in season, I think, three or four. That's, that's what, it. That's the reason why Heroes. That's the reason why Heroes was cancelled because this, the writing. They, they, they were killing off bad characters like um, the, the guy with the healing power, I forgot his name. But he, he was an amazing character. Sorry, so when you mean bad characters, you mean bad characters as in. No, I never said bad. Did I say bad characters? You said bad characters. You mean um, good characters. Good, good villains. Characters with um, good powers. That's I was, what I meant. I would say also good motivations. Because I can understand Linderman, that was his name. Yeah, Linderman, yeah. That, I can understand his reason for doing what he did because yeah. it's like. I have the power to change things, but you can't change things just by doing vigilante stuff. You gotta go, you know. The only thing that really confused me was, um, hold on. Why was you setting people up? Because if you remember, they were setting people up with certain powers and they're like, but they didn't really set them up really. You just put them in the same path and they managed to marry each other. That's them. They're like, that's weird. That's strange. What's going on here? But they never went into detail of it. That's the problem. They never went into detail. Mm. Honestly, I, I always wanted the. I always wanted to see the. You, team, you know what? Team up, the team up of Hero and Peter, becoming a team. Like the future. Oh yes! Self. Oh yes! Are you talking about that alternative universe? Yeah, but that I was actually. Amazing. I wanted that to happen to the current. The, Me the, too. The current day. That would have been counterparts. fascinating. Because those, those characters in itself. Hmm. Were just uh, those characters and stuff were amazing, and I felt that's kind of what they were teasing to, right. to go towards. Like, like these two can, can potentially be as awesome as this, but yeah. they didn't take it further. If anything, Literally, Superman and Batman, uh, pretty much, really. Yeah, <laughs> Hero was Batman, and um, Peter was, Peter was Superman, Superman. Really, yeah. and I was just like, this is awesome. And then, uh, it's like that never happened. Yeah. Actually, these two are gonna stay idiots right. and clueless. You know what? You know what part? This is the only part of season two that I loved. It was like when they were, the, they were building up the whole Peter versus Hero bit, uh, where um, the, Peter was looking for the virus, right. and Hero was like, "No, I have to stop you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the, the, at one point, Peter and Hero just like, "All right, we're gonna fight." All right, and we're gonna we're gonna do this. Time travel, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, we're gonna fight. There was like a, like a, a small skirmish. It's like, we, you, 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 yeah, you have to fight. Yeah, you know, you, you're not gonna stop me, Hero, and that. And Hero's like, "I must." And takes out the sword, and it's just like, "Oh shit, it's happening." Mm. Who who who's gonna win? 
Because, like, I want to see what, what how this is going to work. Well, it's kind of like, hold on. Both of them can stop time. But Hero has better control with teleportation. Uh, he, ha- he has he has the one but power, hold on. but more fo- he's more focused hold with on. it. Hold on, Peter can regenerate. So it's still like he's he's the he's the winner really. But you but you can stop you can stop him from even moving. But by how long? Remember putting. But a, does he know where it is? What Hero? Does Hero know where it is? Yes, because he told him. Did he? Because we're all right in season one. In season one, yes, he did. Where he's gonna me. blow yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah, said, yeah, "Hero, yeah. you have to kill. You have to kill me. Yeah, you hit me in the, you know, hit me in the head or something yeah, like yeah. that." Yeah, yeah, I remember. I still like to think that Peter would have won, but yeah, like you said, he did have he, a, I'm not saying he wouldn't have won. I'm no, saying you make it sound like Hero is favorite, and I agree there. Actually, he does have better control of his powers. Not only that, he has a sword. I'm just disregarding it. It just sounds ridiculous and old fashioned, but it's just like okay. It's like hearing somebody say, "I have a machete." So okay, what? you can say the same thing about Batman when he's playing <laughs> Superman. <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't do it for me. You have a sword, so what? Come on. But yeah. Hey, he has a sword. I've never been cut by one of those swords, so I wouldn't know. I don't want to be cut by one of those swords. Especially Katana, man. That's Yeah. Those things are sharp. I just... Maybe it's me, but I don't think it's as sharp as it looks. But, yeah. Uh, well, swords in general are not as sharp as they as they yeah. as, as they've been built up to be. Because I can imagine one whole swoop and you can cut a dude's head off from S- there, like really. Especially claymores. Well, claymores they can do that, but claymores is one of those things you need power and like the speed with it. Yeah. Because the, the thing about claymores, they're not sharp. They have weight. Yeah. That's why they're like just like cleave like a, a, a body in half. Yeah, you could do it on. And it has to be the head. Exactly. Because if you do the arm, it takes it like. They've explained where if you try and clean the arm, it, it would like doesn't work. it doesn't work. The arm will be hanging off of its skin, yeah. really, or its bone. Yeah, you'll just pretty much be breaking the bone. That's it. Ooh. But but back on the seed, back on like the flash. flash. Yeah. Wells is coming back from Earth too. So we're happy about it. So it's not really Wells. We it, keep saying Wells because that's the person that we're associated. Yeah. With. Well, he is Wells, but he's Wells from reverse another flash. from another alternate timeline. So we're just saying reverse Flash. Well, no, because this one isn't going to be Reverse Flash. Well, we don't know of it yet. So far, it's just going to be Wells from another alternate reality. So the actual Wells Wells? Yes. Okay. This is interesting. So he's going to be all clumsy and whatnot. I have no idea. He might be... Well, he definitely probably be walking. Yeah. Because, you know... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, and they're introducing Jay Jarrick, who's going to be like, Hey, I'm the Flash from the other world. Yep. My suit is not as good as yours. Pretty much. Mm. No, it really isn't because like. No, he does have Cisco on his side, so yeah. No, the thing is, the thing about Jay Garrett's suit that I've always hated the fact that it's just literally a jacket or jacket and pants with a, <laughs> a, a silver helmet or a tin helmet with the with the with the wings on the top. So it doesn't burn his hair off, or maybe. To be fair, he is more old school than the original than the current yeah. day Flash, but yeah. it's one of those things I never liked that his. I thought the character itself was okay. He's because mm. he was like more grittier. He was like more old fashioned, mm. you know, flat superhero. But it was the fact that your suit, I can't take you seriously. Yeah. Like, even the comic books. In the comic books, there's just a t-shirt with a bow on it. Like, with a massive yellow bow on it. Yes, yes. You see? I can't take that seriously. I, I like what they did with the show, it's, at least, is they made it more of a jacket. So it's like, it's not like a shirt, at least. It's like a, a jacket. Mm. Uh, like a red protective, leather jacket. Yeah, yeah protective jacket. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, so far, the one of the... So far, it seems like Zoom is this this character named Zoom, yep. that the, the the main big bad. He's apparently just getting villains from old because from universe. from the recent from the Brilliant. most yeah from the most recent trailer. He it pretty much it was revealed that um the first bad guy that he's gonna come across, he says I was hired by this guy named Zoom, mm. and he said he would take me home if I killed you. That's a good incentive as any, isn't it? Yeah. Like, no, you're not going home until you actually kill this guy. Yeah. But at the same time, that's a challenge because it's almost like nobody has beaten him. What, um, Barry? The Flash, yeah. There's been a few people that have beaten him. Well, they'll probably beaten him, but they haven't killed him. I mean, G- Gorilla Grodd, he was the closest, I think, to, to, be- yeah. to be- beating him. But still did it. Yeah, that's true. So it's just like, yeah. I love if they managed to do that. Just Actually, you no. Know, you know who's beating him? Captain Cold. You can't kill him, right? And he's just gonna keep breaking out of prison. So it's just like he no, no. Wins. When I mean he beating him, I mean he literally beat him. Remember the episode where they were plant, they were moving the um, 
The metahumans. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he tricked him. Yeah. He was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to free them. And they go, oh, me. I love it how um, Barry just came out with it when he realized that actually he beat him. And then uh, Captain Cole was pretty much saying, yeah, well, I'm a bad guy. What did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> the, the way he was just putting it, I'm just there laughing my head off. He's like, consider the facts. I'm a criminal, a yeah. liar. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. You can, you're an idiot. Yeah, it's like, you can't blame anyone but yourself. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like, Captain Cole is just class like, yeah, now these guys owe me a favor. And I understand I understand why Barry did it, because he was he was trying to live up to his idol, yeah. which is the arrow. Yeah. And it's one of those things But wait, alright, so the arrow does work with his villains to a to a, a point. To an extent, yeah. To an extent, because he knows Michael Merlin is a is a lying douchebag and yeah. is gonna do something to undercut him. Yeah. The fact that he made him Raza Go, he made him Raza Go, but he, he knew he knows that there's gonna, there's a woman behind him yeah. who's going who wants to kill him. Yep. Yeah. So it's one of those things. But Michael Mann is a smart guy where he knows almost everyone wants to kill him. Yeah, but Oliver knows. Th- that's what Oliver knows. So it's yeah. like, I don't have to do shit. Eventually, I'm, they're just going to kill him for the title. They're just going to kill each other. Yeah. I'm just going to be like, cool. No, I did it with it. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. Now they get all the glasses, really. Yeah. yeah. Go to town. On, go to town. Yeah. Not going to last. I love her. No, it's not going to last. I hope it doesn't. Yeah. I, hope, I really hope it doesn't. Mm. I just want her to be single or with Barry. Or you can go to Los Angeles or San Francisco and come back and talk to her. Nah, it won't be the same. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's the character that I actually like, not the girl itself. You never know. She could be similar. Could be, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put money. Yeah. Nah. But let's go. But speaking of Arrow, let's let's, let's also talk about Arrow. Mm. So Damien Dark, the new bad guy on the on the horizon. Mm. I think he might have psychic powers. I'm not sure. That's a little. So he can read things with his mind. Yeah, because there's this one scene where um, Oliver like does his thing with the arrow, mm-hmm. and he stops it with his hand. I'm like, whoa, okay, so you your you, your main plan is ineffective. Because that's all. That's, yeah, it's like okay, like you can't beat him really. Yeah, it's like all right, that's and the only hand to hand. Yeah, that's the only thing you can do. The arrow. Yeah, and it's like, oh no, he he has a power that stops it. Hmm. So what are you gonna do? It's like all right, hand to hand. It's like. But he probably doesn't even I, use it. I hand. need to see that episode to see how it plans it's out. It's not an episode. It's, oh, you mean the episode when it comes out? Yeah. Yeah. But psychic abilities, I'm there like... Ooh. I'm more interested in what, what, how he's going to handle his sister going all nuts. What can he do? <laughs> Other than say... He's, what's her name? Uh, fear. Fear, stop. That's <laughs> what he always does. Like, fear, you don't know what you're getting into. Yeah. Fear, let me do it. Yeah, it's just, it's just, she's just gonna keep doing what she does. Yeah, I actually, I actually like where it's going with her because it's like I want her to be that crazy, that crazy like version of us. You want to know her, don't you? Superhero. You want to know her, don't you? Actually, no. Hmm. If anything, I want to know the 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 the, the, the daughter of the, the daughter of the demon. Yeah. Oh, she's so hot, man! <laughs> that whole lesbian thing is just yeah. like. Uh, hmm. That's not even that. Is the fact that I like her because. Here's the thing, I'm hoping. I love how she tried to kill <laughs> the arrow yeah. during the wedding. I'm doing like top props here. She's got balls, I love it. Yeah. I, what I love is like after the, we- even after the wedding, like when it turned out Oliver was be- betraying, betraying, um, betraying Roz, mm-hmm. or Rach, or whatever, how you pronounce it. I like how the fact that she just went along with it. It's like, okay, cool. I don't think she, she had. Her father anyway, so yeah, I don't think she even knew about the plan. She was just like, Okay, I'll right. help you. I'll help you, yeah. That's it. At the point where... At, the, and the one scene... This scene can, kind of sticks in my head, and this makes me think, I hope that the marriage is still... Is still, is like... Still, she hasn't known it, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. here's the thing. There was that one point it's where... still she, my wife. During a part when um, Oliver turned up at the at the, at the the hideout, the, 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 um, Ray Palmer's place. Right. Because they were there, because the, mm. the hideout has been taken by the police. Mm-hmm. So Oliver is with the, with the gang, and like... Basically, you, you see Diggle, he just, he just wants to punch the shit out of him. Yeah. Goes up to him, I think he's about to take out his gun, and then you just see Nisa in the background just with the arrow, yeah. just protecting her husband. I'm like, I like this. Yes. I like this dynamic. Yeah. I like this. Mm-hmm. I don't even care if you have to be married together. Just put you two together. Mm-hmm. That's an awesome team. Like, you just have this, like, very strict, very strict, like, reserved person who just knows no- so much about assassins, but not enough about human... Like human, like human social behavior, mm. and have and have um, Oliver, 
Does it, does, does the husband just stand by? Just, not even a husband. Just like this is the Batman and Robin I want to see. Yeah, this is what I want to see. Well, like Batman and Batman. Though. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. True. If you think about it, yeah. Actually, no. It's more like Batman and the Huntress. Yeah, yeah. She is pretty badass. Yeah. As well, but it's because the Huntress she did show up in the Arrow, so you can't say that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I, I think they should bring her back. She was she was nailable. Yeah. yeah I the fit. I really love the Black Canary. I like the White Canary. The, the original, Canary, the original the, Black Canary. Oh, the original one. Yeah, she's awesome. I I, I was disappointed when they killed her actually. But oh, don't worry, they're bringing her back. Yeah, I'm glad they are. But I'm I'm almost thinking to myself, no, she's just gonna say hi, I'm alive, and then disappear. It could be more than that. I hope it is because she was just. For me, she was made for Oliver Queen. Because I think it would be a waste just to bring her back and not have like any dialogue mm. with anyone about it. Mm. Especially Nisa, because it's like... And the dad who's pretty much broken up about it. How how does he come into the story now that he knows that his daughter is alive? Is he on good terms with the arrow again? Is Doubt he, it, because <laughs> you know she's dead. Is he on good terms with with his daughter who just come back from the life? He's always going to be a daughter. Yeah, I mean, he's always going to back his daughter. I mean, like that's yeah. family. I know it. Or is she even going to tell him? Because Scooby Doo's going to find out. He's a detective. Come on, <laughs> he's not a very good one compared to Joe. Actually, yeah, you're right. He doesn't figure out things as quickly. Does yeah, he? but yeah, no, because yeah. Joe's just like yeah, I, yeah, that's it. He knew yeah. Doctor Wells was lying throughout. He yeah. knew Doctor Wells was lying. He knew his daughter was dating Dane, Eddie. Eddie, yeah. He knew he knew from the beginning about Barry. Not really. He had his suspicions, but he's just like no, no. He knew because he said it in, in that one episode. I was like. Come on, man! I know I'm a detective. I know as long as uh, oh, he, that he's in love with no. Arrow. I thought no, the whole arrow. I mean, the oh, whole no, flash no. one. He didn't know until he saw with his own eyes. Yeah, yeah. That one was um, forgivable because come on, no one with powers. Come on. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, apart from that, Joe is just an amazing detective. I said. Yeah, it's weird watching older episodes of Law and Order and and just seeing that the, the actor in yeah. Law and Order and just yeah. like every time I see him now, I'm just thinking Joe. Joe. Where's where, where's Barry? Because literally, it's like <laughs> where's it's, Iris for me? <laughs> yeah, for his Barry. No, because because <laughs> in the show in Law and Order, you see like this, he's like about to investigate a crime scene. Yeah. So literally, it's like I'm I'm expecting I'm expecting to see Barry behind him running running late, and so it's like oh yeah, this so is not that show. Analyzing and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of just something I I just want to talk about the next topic. I have been watching a lot of Law and Order lately, mm. like Law and Order, um, CSI, and. Um, What's she called? NCIS. That's mm. it. Which one? Uh, both. Because um, I Is like it the Los Angeles one and the original one. Yeah, and they also bring out another one as well. Uh no, that's um Hawaii Five. Oh, I don't. No, 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 no. They bring out another. There's a new new NCIS oh, yeah. is coming out soon. What's it called? And uh, NCIS what? It can't be New York. No, that'd be ridiculous. I can't remember what it was called. It was. It was a. Don't be say Texas. I would no, no, laugh. not Texas. Not Texas. <laughs> I would just. Laugh. Besides, this is naval um, crime scene investigation, yeah. so it's okay. like it has to be run with a lot of navy ships and stuff like that. So um, the Pacific. Something along those. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it might be Dakota. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. South Dakota, my life. But the thing is, uh, you've never seen Quantum Leap, have you? Um, I remember. It, yeah. Those two partner in crime. The main character, he's he's the the main character in Quantum. But he's in the show. Oh, great! That's nice. Yeah. So he must be the lead chief or something. Most likely. But it's what. But all right. So I've been watching like a lot of Law and Order. Man, Law and Order is twisted. It's Law and Order, man. No, but it's all. But they get the criminal, and the criminal escapes by law sometimes. No, but watching the older ones and then watching how it progresses to the new ones, it's like, man, they're getting sicker of these with these criminals. Yeah. It's like. Oh, it's a reflect on real life, the crazy people. Yeah. Now, the, one of the worser ones is, uh, law is law and order, um, cr- crime, um, criminal. S- no, special victims unit. SVU. Oh, uh, okay. I C- think I must have saw one or two episodes. Was there like a Latin guy in there? As a lead role? I don't know, because I think. Head. I oh, not, I no, can't okay. remember, because they, they change it from time to time. Okay. But yeah, anyway. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta pause this for a second. So anyway, yeah, I've been watching crime. I've been watching a lot, of, like a lot of Law and Order and stuff like that. I really love NCIS. I think, and I'm starting Which to. Which one? <laughs> I love it. Actually, the original. I like the original the okay, best because yeah. I think, and I'm starting to see the reason why NCIS is much better than CSI. 
I mean, it's going into another season, so we're, I think, past the nine season brackets. Yeah. yeah. NCIS, the, the, the characters just have better camaraderie with each other. I like the main chief, the white haired one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the rest is Gibbs. just their substitutes. The substitutes, but the but the good the good the background characters. Good. Yeah, yeah the chemistry is yeah, brilliant. Good. I really love the Doctor Ducky, because uh, is that the punk type one? No, no, no. That's um the short jacket. Abby. That's Abby. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Ducky is the short the short older one with the glasses. Uh, I haven't seen her. Oh, I missed her. Yeah, him, Ducky. Can't remember. He's the Doctor. He's Can't not remember. in. A, he's not in a lot, but wait, is he like old like? He's like an old English type yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I might know who you're talking about. Yeah, 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 he's great. But you're right, Gibbs is like the main focus of that's that his show. Name Gibbs? Yeah. yeah, he's awesome. That's his nickname, but yeah. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Um, it's one of those. It's one of. The, I love the way those characters just interact with each other. It's just fun to watch. It's like the, It's like a bunch of kids solving crimes, but it's like they solve. One head teacher. <laughs> yeah, but it's like they solve. They, they, they're so good at what they do. It's like. Yeah. You you can see how they get things done. Mm. Now, when you go over to see CSI, it's like I don't really get the camaraderie with each other because they don't. Ca- I think there's it's clear these guys are doing the whole individual thing, and then they're managing to find or solve the crime in it. Yeah, it's like yeah. at one point, one guy gives his de- his um is uh basically what he he solved to this guy. Right. One guy gives what he what he found out to this guy, and then at one point they start team up in twos. It's like go to a place and search it out, it's like, it's not very, it's just like one bit to another, it's like not really, mm. you're not really talking to each other. And then with... Inf- so it's antisocial, would you say? Yeah. I would say antisocial, it's just like, it's not... No camarader- camaraderie. Yeah, like it's not very like interesting it's in terms of... It's done. In terms of character, character um, relationships. They're just not working well together, they're not clicking. It's not cohesive. I would say that, I just say it's, it's, it's not fun to, it's not interesting to watch. Okay. With NCIS, it's just like, they're just having fun. Yeah, it's just like it's almost like they're having fun while solving crime. I swear, it's not just solving crime. They're having they're fun. They're teasing each other, and I'm just they're like, really. At one point, they're teasing each other during a terrorist a, a terrorist threat, and it's like, are you serious? There's literally a te- a, a terrorist like a, a nuclear threat, and you you guys are just like making fun of each other's ties. I'm not going to lie in that situation. I would just to break the ice. Yeah. But I wouldn't go on. I wouldn't persist. <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know. Well, to be fair, they do this on, regu- on a regular basis. So uh, it's okay. like. Yeah. <laughs> so this is nothing for them. <laughs> yeah. Now, in terms of law and order, law and order is just crazy. Because mm-hmm. I'm just looking at these things. I'm thinking, wow. Yeah, the wow. criminals are just crazy. I swear, man. <laughs> I remember this one guy who was in court saying, oh, yes, there's no plot uh, admissed by the government to try to frame me for killing my wife. I'm there like, what are you talking about? How, how do you expect these um juries to buy that? <laughs> no, seriously. And he, he, he was he was speaking like so sincerely that like he really did believe that. Because well, he like, probably really did believe it. I'm there like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Stop. If I was the judge, just bang, bang, bang. Life imprisonment. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Yeah. Like, like you're embarrassing yourself. Just stop. One of the more fun, one of the more funnier ones that I was just um, not funny, but it's like, wow, the the law system is stupid. Like in should, America, no, no, the law system in general, because you should okay. not be relying on a bun- uh, on randomly gathering people to to like come up with a verdict. Because at one point, this this um kid hmm. murdered a like murdered a bunch of people. You say kid? You say like under 20. teenager? Yeah, like a... Ooh, he's just going to get a minor offense, maybe. No, he, like 18, I think. He's actually 18. Yeah, uh, was it legal age in most part of America? is like 21. I think I think in New York it's 18. So they can trial him. Oh, right. As an adult. Ooh, what an idiot. And the thing is, his crime was heinous because he literally just shot random people. How many did he kill? He killed three. One was a kid. That's... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And literally, what he did is uh, he got a sniper rifle and he shot them from. Oh my! A sniper rifle. I thought that was just like a shotgun or no. just a pistol. He got. He literally did long range because his father was a, a military Mister, sniper. Yeah. And he had oh like a hunting goodness. rifle back at, on on a faraway lodge. This is evil, man. But you, you don't even know why. You know why he t- he he killed certain people. He only meant to kill one person, but to throw off the cops from a, a, an actual trial. I see. A trail, sorry. He basically targeted like a bunch of other people. I see. Just make it look like yeah. yeah. So one was a mother, with while she was going while to she hell. while she was straining her you are going to hell while she was moving her pushchair. Mm. One was 
one was a, a little girl just coming out of school, and and then the other one was the actual target was was a guy who was a businessman. So that's the one that he wanted to kill. Yeah, yeah. And the reason he ki- wanted to kill the businessman because he was going to fire his dad, or his his uh, his um foster dad. And the reason why I say fosters with fingers is because the guy his 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 foster dad kidnapped him when he was a kid. Kidnapped him, raised him, but raised him like in a confined area. So basically, it was only him and the dad. So literally, homeschool, didn't let him go out to play. Well, actually, no, not homeschool. He did let him go to school with other kids, but it's like one of those things he... Basically, yeah, he was... Uh, ve- I'm sick and tired of this. This is just fucking insane. You know what's even more insane? You know what the jury... You know what the jury... Um, You know what the jury said? They said, not guilty. No, they said guilty with a... a, a yeah, I'm sure there are several crimes, right? They said guilty, but it wasn't. But uh, guilty with a a pile of uh, with a file of insanity. Guilty uh, under insanity, uh, basically. Yeah, so Cause he's just gonna be in, it's a lunatic asylum. Yeah, because what they they blamed it on the guy who was already in prison. Yeah, cause for kidnapping see, him. Yeah, but it was like he can file for insanity. Yeah, and the th- and the thing is, it was one of those things. He did it to protect his dad because he was so yeah. headstrong and holding him. Yeah, and in the end of that program, I was like, you. F- Fucking idiots! I mean, I agree. He killed. I agree, but according to the law, he, the right to find him guilty for insanity. Yeah. But for me, death no, penalty. Man. No, just he, give them the death penalty. I wouldn't penalty. go death penalty. Come, come on, man. No, here's the thing. I think give because he's a minor. Okay, life imprisonment. Then no, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, yeah, life, life imprisonment. imprisonment. Yeah. I think in giving death penalty is too easy. I think they need to like go through <laughs> a life just bit like that's dropping it's true. the it's dropping true. the soap. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yes. That is punishment worse than. Worse than Getting death. fucked in a bum for the rest of your life. Exactly. <laughs> You're an evil guy. I am evil. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Good plan. This is the thing. I'm, I'm, this is the thing where as people are like, would you ever kill someone? I'm like, would you ever kill your worst enemy? I say no. Because he, if my that worst enemy... That's so easy. Yeah. Uh, that's too easy. I would want to him to feel the pain. Life imprisonment. Feel torture. Life imprisonment. Yeah. yeah. It's one It's. It's one of those things. He, he, he needs to like feel pain and... The, 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 the I'm sure the family won't feel like that. Oh, funny you mention the family because uh, at one point the girl, his real sister, because mm. they just found found him. But he was like, I don't know these people. They're not my family. I only want my dad. And because he was just like, he's all, all he knows is his dad. Yeah, I can imagine. Or that. his dad, I should yeah, say. Yeah. So basically, the sister came up to the one of the police officers and said, "What are you doing?" This this man took our took our brother took my brother away, mm. and you're and you're trying to do the same thing. I'm like. Bitch, he shot a kid. Yeah. He shot a mother while she was straddling her kid mm. in the neck. Mm. Tell woman. Here's the thing: if if anyone I if any one of my family member did that, I'd be like, damn right, you take him to jail. Yeah, I wasn't talking about the, his family. I was more like the grieving ones. Oh, the grieving ones. Yeah. Um, because they're the one that want the punishment for the dude, right? We didn't see much of the actual grieving family. So case. they didn't agree. <laughs> no, they did agree, but we didn't see much of them. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, them. so they just yeah, I see. Mm-hmm. And within the the parameters of the TV show, one, I'm just really thinking to myself, I want this guy dead, but yeah. No, I'm just thinking. No, you need you need to lock this mouth. Don't don't put him. And in the ending, in the ending show, when the lawyers were talking you about it, you just be the only one. The mother and the father would just be like, no, kill him. No death penalty. That's it. Yeah, but the problem is he is he, still a minor. Not a minor, but he's not. not the, He's on the age. The he's on that borderline. Hmm. I think he was actually probably over eighteen, but he was just I I can't remember. Yeah, it's fine. But it's one of those things. I actually blame the jury for that one. Cause I'm like, <laughs> you're always gonna blame the jury. I blame the, no, cause it's like, dude, you know he literally said he 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 yeah, did but it. I don't know what they offered him. Uh, the jury in it like guilty for what? If they say just for insanity, then what can they do? The problem is they said it with a plea of insanity, meaning. That he will. Do they have the option to plead for insanity? That's for what him? I'm getting. Yes, because that's what they did. They said he's oh, guilty. Oh, can they just say no? Manslaughter, life in prison. Yeah, they could have said that. Yeah, I believe they could have said no. They could have said guilty, but they said guilty with a plea of insanity. Yeah, that's just not good. It's, it's, it's like, but yeah, it's also at the same time. I'm sure half of them were just trying to be um on the preview or just trying to be as. Realistic or pragmatical as, as they could in it, right? Just be like, yeah, but he was insane at the time if they tried to convince the others because if you remember, it has to be a unanimous decision. True. But here's the thing, and this is the thing that is also bullshit. If he is insane, 
Wouldn't that mean you should actually lock him? You should, there should be more in case to lock him up for mm. what he did. Yeah. Because it's one of those things. Because all they did is literally they put they confine him to a place where he can escape with enough attention. Okay. Because it's not like a jail, it's not like a prison where they they put they put you behind iron bars and like there's like this. Uh, now that background noise is just really scary. Me. I'm getting the feeling like my somebody's si- going to get a knife out from the drawer. No, and that's just... not, no, that's just my sister dropping at a fork, most likely. I heard forks drop. That was yeah. more like clutching to the drawer for nah, something. My sister's clumsy like that. Okay. But yeah, this is man, law and order, trippy man. Mm. But anyway, uh, we're gonna cut it there because sh- we're gonna cut it short for this one. Uh, thank you for joining us, people. Uh, no shout outs today. That's fine. Although, although I will say, I will say, um, I did find out that, you know, the boat that I mentioned from Kim and Macy? Yeah. In their Twitter? It is their boat. They own it? They own it. Good. So, I'm like, that's nice to I'd love to go to their yacht club one time. I don't think they go to a yacht club. I think they just take it out on the lake and just drive it. Yeah. Well, oh, bro, no, I, drive I it. I hope they invite me there. So, yeah, yeah, just chill out. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you're good with that. I'm, I'm good with being on land. Me too, of course. But it's just like, eh, for fun, right? Yeah. But then again, on a boat with two lesbians. I st- all right, we're ending it there. No, as in, um, no. they don't need me, so they might throw me off the boat. <laughs> so it's just like. No, no, no. Oh, now that you mentioned that is a good Yeah, exactly. Yes. So it's just like, from no, 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 no. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll stay no, here. No, no, I'm, I'm, sure the, I'm sure they like you enough they'll give you a, life, a lifeguard, <laughs> a life jacket. Listen, I end up in no Pacific Ocean, man. No freaking No, way. no, it's the lake. It, you, it's, you'll easily be able to, to yeah, swim Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near lake. Nah. Or, no, or at least a, a quite big It's out of river. question. Yeah, it's just out of question. No, you'll be fine. I made uh, dog, a, dog, a, dog a paddles, bad dog paddles. decision, a rash decision, or <laughs> just even entertaining it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine here, Kim and Macy. Anyway, people, that is the podcast for this week. Thank you for joining us. Um, be sure to subscri- subscribe to the channel. You know, like it, like the video, or like the podcast, whatever. Mm. Um, share it out. And if you want to find me, you can find me on Twitter at Rhino King, and you can you can just you can see my Twitch channel, um, Twitch dot Twitch dot TV slash Rhino King. You can also find my Patreon if you want to help support. You know, put in like an, a dollar or so. Mm. There you go, I gotta say it by the U.S. value dollar. Dollar. Put in a dollar, and you put can. Some D's on it, on it. You also have access to the video the video portion of this podcast. Mm. Which I will be putting up very shortly, actually. All of them. Indeed, on it, on it. <laughs> anyway, on that note, as Theo just talks about um, D size, probably D's nuts, but mm, no dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. It was. Yeah. Anyway, bye bye, people.